Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're back for a wonderful stream this evening here. Uh, thank you all for joining me. As you see, we got a goal here. We're trying to get to 30 followers. Um, if you if you like to help out, go ahead, help out. Just follow. Just uh, doesn't hurt to sit here and uh, follow. Get notifications whenever I start streaming and watch me stream. Not that bad. So that said, let's jump right on into it. Uh, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Mm. Oh, yes. Try to remember what we did yesterday. Ooh, it was a lot. I know there was a lot of puzzles there at the end. Puzzles that wrapped my head around. Sheesh. They were terrible, terrible puzzles. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, wait, why ain't there any sound? Hold on. I have got to turn the sound back on. Oh, there we go. Yep, sound is on. There we go. All right, cool. Now, what was I doing? Dimmy guys. Dimmy guys statues. That's what I was doing. All right, where am I at? Take it forever to load anything. Hold on. I need one more to get the next level to Alohomora. That's right, there's three over there in the Dark Tower, and I think there's one I can't get to. There's only one there, I got it. And there's one more here that I cannot find in the Library Annex. Yeah, I don't know where the hell is that. Uh, oh, and there's two in the bell tower. There's one in the bell tower. I don't think I can get it either. But there's one over here I have not got. Right? Okay, yeah. I don't know where, but it's here somewhere. Travel. Wait, where was that musical room at? I think there was one in the musical room. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Hell. She's like right there. I can totally do it. Hello, Hamora. No. Oh. Oh, there's that one. Got it. Rebellion. Now, where are the Demi guys at? Dear Professor Weasley, thank you for your owl. I am overjoyed to hear that this most recent crop of seventh years includes a number of students who may be both interested in and well suited for a career at the ministry. Of course, their OWLs, owls, will provide confirmation of the letter, uh, but equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective given your experience with us and for that i am truly grateful i look forward to further updates as the term progresses respectfully yours ferris spaven minister of magic london it hmm. warms my heart to see your interest in herbology dare i say blossom 
Oh god, everybody's got puns today. Sheesh. <laughs> so, no. Revelio. Where am I at? Okay, cool. Hold on. But this one's level two. There's one back there, but I gotta get to level two first. Uh, I gotta get one more, I guess. Wait. How did I miss that one? Oh, and I'm level 27. Rebellion. There's another one? This wasn't here earlier, was it? Lumos. Not a picture of the centaur. Put a foot wrong, it's just, well... Da da da. Do -do 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 -do. da 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 da. Okay. Rebellion. That's another one of those doors. I think I've already got that one though. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Oh lord, just because I use your flame doesn't mean I like you. Go away. No, nope, I went down there to the undercrawl. There wasn't anything there. Hi. Rebellion. Shoot it. This raid, I might have all of them. Yeah, I've already done here. There wasn't one. I was aware of. Nope. I've already went to the top, worked my way all the way down. It's a lock and a chest and a chest lock. That was in her office? Right? Hold on. Rebellion. Yeah, I should be able to get in her office now. Nope, it's a level two. Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. There's two in this tower. I've only found one. Wait, it's... Yeah, it's two over here. But I have only found one, and the other one's locked behind a door. Where's the third one? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go here. Sheesh. Clever? How offensive. 
Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Any luck removing some more of those Demigai statues? Actually, I have some moons for you. I actually have some moons for you. Oh, wonderful, truly. Uh, if you bring me just a few more, I can teach you how to improve casting Alahamora. Where can I find Where more moons? Where should I look for more Demigai statues and moons? All of my usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Ogsmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep looking. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your mm -mm. bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Hey, see, I was one off. The hell? Okay. So I'm going to put a pause on the one for there. And there are nine demigod statues here at Hogsmeade. I'm going to start at one end, work my way across. I'm going to get them all. I need to get higher levels of Lohomora. So I can be a thief extraordinaire. Revelio. Wait, there's one in this building. Which building is this? Can I get in? No, it's locked. But there's one. Oh no, that's the lock. Okay. Fine now, dummy guys. Wait, what? Is there one around here? And there's one up there in the second floor of this building, but it's locked. Are you kidding me? Ah, it's Rebellion. always nice to see a familiar face. Okay, the right Jack and Enders one next door. What? How do I even? This is some bullshit. Revelio. Now it's not revealing anything. Oh, this is nonsense. Rebellion. Is that in here? Here. Nope, that's right outside. Rebellion. Oh, we can unlock this one. Nice. I'm so glad a controller vibrates.
Oh, okay. Rebellion. Did he have one at his shop? Nice to see you again. No, he did not. Is that a lockdown? I think that's a lock. Okay, so Ollivander didn't have one. Can I get the dead door? Nope, that's a negative. Rebellion. What? They don't have one? Damn it. There's nine in this town. I have yet to find one. Mm -hmm. Let's go check all the shops. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping Rebellion. to save the village from those trolls. Okay. You know, I do, do like the music in here. It's a uh, very nice. Here leads outside. Rebellion. I think I've already unlocked up there. I remember seeing one up there. Hold on. You idiot. Is there one downstairs? No. God, that's creepy. Oh Lord, where the hell is everybody? Is there one in here? Come on in, come on in. Rebellion. No. Bye. Nope, oh, gotta trim my bush, chat. Hmm. Now it's a remarkable bush. Holy shit, Rebellion. there's like three cats that just appeared there. Scriffin shaft cats. Oh, okay. Well, I'll pet you. Pet your kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. <laughs> oh, come on. I just want one more at least. The hell now the statue is good? Okay. Half these statues I already thought I found once. Or the, you know, pages. <sighs> I can unlock it. Hello for more. No. Beep. 
Alright, where is there there's not one in here. Man, that's some bullshit. Here I'm breaking into folks' homes. Oh, gotta trim my bush Does again, chat. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Yep, look at it. Oh, that's a lovely trimmed bush. Wait. <laughs> it says it's locked. Okay, uh, where the hell are they at? There's nine in this damn village, and I have found zero. No, level two lock. Level two lock. I gotta trim a bush again. Mmm, bush trimming. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Duracore feather, it doesn't half hurt. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my Wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have them here. Anyway, what are you here for? Mooncalf fur? Derricall feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricalls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. Not an ideal choice of merchandise. Seems like a poor choice of inventory. Surely that's obvious. You don't mind sharing your opinions, do you? Despite the nope. fact that we are a wizarding village, doesn't mean these things appear by magic. Takes a lot to round up these feathers. Don't get me started on whoppers. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Perhaps it was your dealings with whoppers that led you to the precarious idea of stocking diracles. Oh. You are well and cheeky, aren't you? Don't worry, I don't mind. Never had a still tongue in my head either. And I'll have you know that it's my highest priority to ensure that all beasts are safe and well cared for. Right thing to do and good for business. Anyway, perhaps you should have a look around. Stocks change all the time. And not just because they disappear. <laughs> Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> Thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. She's Thank a snorter. Stopping by. A treat to have you here. She's a snorter, chat. May I see your wares? What do you have for sale? Mm. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? Hippogriff feather. Niffler fur. Unicorn hair. Well, most of this stuff, yes, but I have a feeling I can get it all on my own. Measle fur. Mm. Can I sell them to you? No. 
I will not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. I didn't even buy anything. Rebellion. Nope, I can run out the back door now. Well, fuck. Does nobody trim their bush here in this place? Damn. What is Scriven Shafts? Oh. Rebellion. No, it's the. I was just here for the cats. Okay. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Where the hell? I haven't seen a single. A demigod. I'll be damned. Rebellion. And it's not showing up when I've rebellioed. So that mean I've got to wait. Mind now, Demi guys. Now it reveals at night. Hmm. I only got the one to get level two. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go learn level two, Alohomora. Hogwarts map. No, he's over here. Right there. Faculty tower. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Boop, 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 boop. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? Actually, I have some moons I for you. I actually have some moons for you. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough moons. Oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. <laughs> Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh. If you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alohomora known to wizard kind. <laughs> At least known to me. Alohomora. You'll save my sanity, and we may get to the bottom of whoever's behind all of this. So I need 13 more. Let me go... This tower, get the one I know for a fact is there. Wait. Yes, he's like near the ground floor, so go... There? Yes. This one's fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ba da ba da. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Yeah, it's like right over here at these guys, the gargoyles. Alohomora. Mm. 
got it. Attention. I have been advised that various members of staff will like chats to click follow. I mean, would like to organize a social gathering. I have no objections to this and shall leave it to those so inclined to fraternize, ensuring that such activities fall outside of school hours, of course, and that nothing so jovial has as to disrupt my concentration should occur. Likely. I shall be busy on the date that will review the invitation when received. But will review the invitation when, re when received. I recognize that my absence will mar the engagement. Also, one half, one half an hour should be sufficient. And please be mindful that any sort of musical presence would be strictly prohibited. Phineas Nagelis Black, Headmaster. P.S. No confectionery shall be served lest they attract a stray rat or nasal. Also, please try to limit the number involved in this frivolity to four. What the fuck? Rebellion. A boggart closet. Hmm. No. Bogart, Bogart. A hundred and forty two staircases, and this is where they put me. Well, now I have level two. I can open up the the other doors. Hello, Hamora. Nice. Another letter. What do we got? Dear Dinah, I know you are disappointed as any regarding the cancellation of this year's Quidditch season. Despite my repeated efforts, I cannot seem to convince the headmaster to reverse his decision, even if it were a shorter period of time. Might I impose upon you to reach out to him? It occurred to me that perhaps hearing from someone from the, his school years, someone alongside whom he may have once shared for a match or two well i thought it would be possible uh, it, i th well i thought it could possibly sway him yours gratefully chio wait who the fuck is chio Rebellion. that's a level three That's a level three as well. Hmm, interesting. Da, da, 
Revelio. Hmm. Well, I think I might have gotten them all over here. Quest. The keys. I'm still missing two keys. I wonder where the hell they would be at. Okay, well, let's go and head down to Philcrop. Here. need to sell some shit god damn it i was just in hogsmeade too here let me map hogsmeade yes travel there sell some shit then i head down to Velcrow. i just poured this glass of brew beer now it's already empty Come on in and have a look around. Uh, no touching if you have sticky fingers. The hell, I just How is this shit already better than what I have? Okay. Garbage. 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 Sell it all. Don't need any of it. It's all going to the trash. Get to the point where I've got nothing to buy. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Okay. I'm going to unlock a few doors. Rebellion. Let me know if you need help finding anything. The hell is there? No, I guess it's up there. Okay, hold on. Doors. I need doors. Wait, hold on. Level two on Okay. More. Now was cake. Chrome cake. Rebellion. Look, there's a demi guys upstairs. If I will run.
Alohomora. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Rebellion. Alohomora. He's kick, he's from kick. Rebellion. Oh God, my shoulder keeps itching. I don't know why. to look at here rebellion there's a chest two chests and that hold on oh <gasps> i never went around this guy Are you kidding me i now demi guys <laughs> are you joking me chat What shop is this? Rebellion. I don't even know what shop this is. But I'm stealing. Stealing from it. Yep. What? Magic is weird, man. So it's two shops in the same building. It's bingo and blotch. One side's bingo and the other side's blotch. Hmm. Oh, it's a level three lock. Sheesh. Okay. That place is boarded up. Wait. Is there a third shop? It's a third shop. In the same building. Rebellion. Wait, this ain't a shop. This is this is his house. This is where he lives.
Rebellion. Pastry cakes. I always like the pastry cakes. So there's a chest behind here. Oh, gotta trim a bush. An unidentified face item. Alohomora. And a lock. Stealing from these folks, ain't gonna know where to hit them. Wait, no, oh, that's the one right there. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. We're actually killing those chests. Revelio. Okay. Revelio. Where is more dimmy guys? Wait, did I never go up there? I did not. This is level two now. I can unlock it. Nice. Very easy. I mean, it's a very efficient way to run a shop. I mean, if you only have one building and you're in to get out, yeah, make two or three different storefronts. All in the same space. Rebellion. Jesus, that was bright. Oh wait, that's the door I just walked out of? Wait, hold on, that makes no sense. Oh, it is. I thought I walked out of this one. I did. It's the bedroom. Okay. I'm dumb. Sorry. I'm dumb. I really am. I try. To level one lock. What? What do we have here? A demigod. Okay, so now we wait. Uh, yes, wait. I wonder now, dummy guys. who lives here.
I'm just robbing all these people's homes. All of them. Wait a second. What? This is bullshit. Uh, yes. What was up here in the cemetery? You. What a pleasant surprise. Wait, what happens to this gas shop? How come he can't go inside? Unless... <laughs> I see. That's how they keep you from going to certain areas. Just make shoddy stairs. The character will not even attempt them. Level 3. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me hide. Ooh, ooh, you don't see me. Give me your money, bitch. Oh my god, I'm Leviosa. Ugh. Jay Pippins. Ooh, I can unlock it. Hello, Hamora. Yeah, damn. Yeah. I don't know why my shoulder is constantly itching tonight. Sheesh. Yep, there we go. Oh, if you'll move. I see they were all behind locked doors. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. What can I do for you today? Mm. Nothing. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Oh, I do need to go get uh spellcrafts from that one guy. Hey. Revelio. Uh, technology? Hello, Hamora. If it thinks it's got more of a chance, it has to be only a great effort to get to it. My advice when dealing with untoward matters is Emperor Canuck, Emperor Galleon. The Minister will pay for the way they treat their prisoners. So far, Duke has seen symptoms. Next thing you know, it's unforgivable curses. Jeez, that one was a little tricky just trying to figure it out. Rebellion. Do you see that kid? He just broke into your house. Oh, that's fine. He can have whatever he finds. Okay. 
it. That's what the authorities are for, they say. Huh. Try finding them. Damn, oh. right in the back. I'm starting to think the chest reset because I think I've already gotten that one before. I'm thirsty. Had to steal me a mug right quick. Is that a level three over there? Hold on. I can't take a shortcut. No, oh, level three. Okay. Rebellion. Oh, what the hell? I think that's everything. Wait, no. I bet there's like three or four demi guys left. There's three. What I tell you, three demi guys left. I bet you they're over here. Yeah, let's go over here. This is cemetery? Yeah, it is cemetery. Okay, cool. We go this way. Rebellion. Wait, is there not a back door or a hidden area? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. No oh, shit. No, don't go down there. Huh. 
Nothing. How do you get over there? No, oh, this way. Have it done anywhere near these three houses? There we go. Aloha, Mora. Oh, they were both up. Yep. Beep, beep, beep. There we go. Now there's just two more left in this damn town. Okay, I think that's everything I could possibly get now. So, where is the place farthest south that I have discovered? I haven't discovered any of these places? What? What's that? Evasive maneuver. Talk to Althea Tweedle. Okay, well, like the farthest south I've been is here. Well, it's not the farthest south, it's the farthest flume I've collected. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. I'm glad some of y'all can join me this evening, though, for real. Oh, it's always nice. Be relaxed, chill, just go and do our thing. Okay, let's see. I need room. Wait, hold on. I can rob these people too. Hello, Hamora. raised floor their chest Rebellion. oh that's it there's a demi guys over there in this house fine now demi guys oh it's right here by the door Rebellion. 
Rebellion. Give me all, give me all your items, and you walk away. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Nah, nothing comes that to mind. That will be all. Thank you for your time. All right. It's not what I wanted, but okay. What the hell? What was that? I oh, that's the one I've already solved. What the hell? What was that sound? Is that a wolf? It's a wolf. Balloons, balloons, just popping balloons. What the hell is out here? What is this? Expelliarmus, Confringo, Protego. Oh shit. No, it's just a wolf's den. Okay. Taking his camp out. Why are there still folks here? Huh. What's that? Who's there? <laughs> no! Oh, I will make you pay. And the brother who works at Green Gut. <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk all day. Wait, is that a, uh, it is, hold on.
Rebellion. Oh, look, there is. They're incapable of defending themselves. I don't waste time seeing if they're dead. Their fate's not on my hands. Only their blood. Mustn't overlook Felcroft. Ain't easy to behave. If you owe me galleons and you can't pay, you best get a tombstone. Where'd she go? Revelio. Has your brain been infested with bundemans? A maneuver like that could have got us killed. She's still there, stuck. The fuck? Oh well. Okay. Oh shit. Shit. Get. Lumos. When Guardian <laughs> Levioso is terrible, they're teaching incendio. Levioso. Yeah. I'll pay that one hurt. That's the best. Expulsive okay. momentum. Ugh. Great, is it doing this again? It is. Protego. Rebellion. Now are these rocks? Do I have to do a Expelliarmus? Hmm. There's a puzzle here. If I can figure it out. Oh, 
concentration three nice Oh, that's because there's a... What do you have in store for me this time? There's a Merlin trial here. No wonder. There we go. Now we got these. What, are the, what do they do? Um... Do I have to activate them? Descender! Depulsa! What? Incendio. Glacis. Defendo. Levioso. Accio. Wait, it's still frozen. Okay. Hold on. Rebellion. Oh, nope, there it is. Is that it? Glacius. I think that's right, right? Hold on. Rebellion. Hmm. Yep, there's one more over here. Glacier. Rebellion. Glacier. There's one up there. I see. Glacius. Did I? Hold on. That was one, two, three, four. Wait. That was not frozen anymore. Hold on. Is that it? I am so lost. Did I get it? No, that one's not frozen anymore. Here's that one. Oh, Lord. Am I even doing it right? Hold on. Levioso. Arresto momentum. It's green. So I'm wondering if it requires like a dark arts spell. No, oh, what the hell? Maybe, 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 maybe not.
Gotta get the balloons. Ba -da -ba -da. Now you should be able to travel to and from Bellcroft in an instant. I gotta rob these folks' homes first. Alohomora. Yep. Stealing. Good rat shit. Just borrowing it. I need to place right out of a storybook. No shit, Sherlock. It is a storybook. I mean, to be fair, I don't intend to turn it, like return it. So there's that. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome. I am Bernard Indiaye. And this is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, yes. Hand over all of your galleons, please. What can you tell me about this Hamlet? I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroft the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroth and his associates are in league with Ranlock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. Hmm. What's... Well, can you, t can you tell me a bit about yourself? What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? Although I admit I didn't choose it, it chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts, and my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. Hmm. I see your wares. What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? Wait, his is cheaper than the chicken down. Now, if you like what you bought, be sure to come in and see me again. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Oh, yeah, you and every other shop vendor around here. Get in line, buddy. Rebellion.
Tarara. Revelio. Alohomora. Hmm, both of them vibrate individually, so you can tell what do the we difference. Have here? A demigod. Where? <gasps> Shit, I gotta wait. It's daytime. Map. And one demigod. Uh, wait. Yes. Fine now, demigod. Is there a fill guide page over here? Oh, yes, yeah, like right here. Practice dummies. Okay, now to start the main quest with Sebastian. Oh, now I gotta wait. What? Kid's been up here drinking this whole time. Ooh, he didn't share. It. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Yikes. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. I'm sorry. Please. I'm 
I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Hmm. Are you alright, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm alright. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Ooh. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Hmm. Sebastian's mind is made up. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. A letter from Anne to Sebastian. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be. Anne. <laughs> Rebellion. Dear Anne, Hogwarts is this Hogwarts is it the same without you? Well, Sharp is still as foul. S still as foul. What? That makes that makes no sense. Well, Sharp is still as foul. Oh, I see. But you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Ooh, apple. Mm, I always wondered how wizards dealt with. Uh, you know, dentistry and a doctor and stuff. Apparently, they just keep apples. They eat apples all day. You know, because it, cause it keeps the doctor away. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Surely there's something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. Huh, stay out of their way? <laughs> Shit. Um, no. Hope could be a good thing. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. I said good day, sir. Why would you not listen to me? She's my sister. 
Hmm, I see. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. He's trying to do what's right. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Uh, not as if I have it already been fighting them. It's from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. But okay. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you.
It wasn't that bad. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They were trying to hide something. They'll kill for no reason. They were trying to hide something. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Rebellion! Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It was Charles Rookwood, one of the keepers. Rebellion. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. That's a big ass fucking halberd, though. Sheesh. Or glaive. That was a glaive. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Rebellion. Hmm. Let's see. Gold. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Rebellion. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Oh, it's the hamlet that was restored in one of the earlier vis visits. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. 
I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. To Balsa! Huh, a stairwell. Hell? Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. It is my second week at, in the camp. More arrive each day. The Muggle, doc the Muggle Dockers, even s some of our own healers, are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. I f a fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help help them as it would be rid them of their torment a journal entry of his adorers i should hold on to this hmm i traveled here to learn but i longed to help my internal struggle is overwhelming it's as though the magic wants to heal and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I for, forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could have lessened the burden of heartache. I saw the man leave, leaving camp today, the one who is reminding me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be for, fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels Revelio. Depulsa Glacius Confringo! Lumos! You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. No, Sebastian, you idiot. The I mirror. Sounds strange, but Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we could get straight to the Undercroft from here. Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway? 
Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. I mean, it's got a frame around it like a mirror. Did you just say it was part of the stone? What the hell? My character is an idiot. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Hmm. I don't make out much on it. Got the symbols. Hmm. Anything Bye. helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Yep. I'll be in touch. Till then. In the shadow of the estate. What is next? I need quests. Mm. Oh, wow, that's a lot of notes. Uh, I got nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. I need four more and I can get the demiguys. Or right, Aloha Mora. Level three. Nice. I got new ones. Like, what do they look like? Oh. Spiral green gray. What? I don't see a bit of green on there. Swirl dark gray. Oh, that's the. I'm an idiot. That's the wood of the lawn. Hmm. Shell. Metallic. Is that a. Looks like a Nautilus shell. Yep, 
keep going back to that one. Combat. Protego shielding. Goblin silver resistance too. B20 mongrels. Lucas protection too. Okay. 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 Akio. Eh. I think I do Akio mastery. Or hold on. Impacts reduces spell cooldowns. E evasion absorption. The trip is to agic. Ancient magic. Agit. Ancient magic. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Enemies contribute more to ancient magic meter. Ortego mastery. E Basic cast mastery. I think I'll take that one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get at least three more levels. At least. Because they don't end on odd numbers like that. So. Let's go. Spells. I will spend one point to get Akio mastery. All right. All right, done. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Where? Fal... 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 What? Hmm. All right, hold tight. I gotta go get something to drink. I am thirsty, 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 thirsty.
I am back, chat. And uh, I brought snacks. Got some, uh, some turkey jerky. Yep, turkey jerky. Packaging is so difficult to get into. Pretty good. Turkey jerky and I got a... Um, greasy pieces. The big family bag. But yeah. Fair enough. Blew my mind. There is no chocolate and Reese Pieces. Don't believe me? Look it up. Look at the ingredient list on the back. The high keep. All right, so I need to attend astronomy class. In the shadow of the bloodline. Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. I should find out what this is about. Um. Shit, I want to do side quests. These are collector side quests. Hold on. Alright, I'm curious. I gotta go see what these two are arguing about. I'll go follow them. Where the fuck are they? Hold, hold on. Potions and salads, charms and stellar Nothing as clever as playing with fire. Wait, where are they arguing at? No, <laughs> shall we drop <laughs> drop in right on top of them? Do do do. Stay golden, chat. Oh snap. A big old I can't say Thanksgiving. They don't celebrate Thanksgiving in England. Or do they? No, oh, here they are. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. I'm curious about the Dark Arts. I really am. Avada Kedavra. I want it. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. 
The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. You don't have to tell me. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. I am a bit curious. It's not that I'm not interested. And you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Yep. I'm gonna play dumb. What does the Cruciatus curse do? It's known as the torture curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. He should have known better. Eh, he had no choice. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the Scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Ooh, this is... This has got to be how I get those dark arts. Oh, snap. Shit, still got to do the other classes. Um, yep, let's, let's do astronomy. Is that it right there? That's the highest one. Yeah. Travel. Travel, travel, travel. Astronomy. It's not even magic. Uncle Roland sends his best. He often asks after you and his owls. Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Anything more to those owls? Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin cruel. Ugh, it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. I'm glad I could have helped. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. Wait, is this? What the hell? That? Oh, I walked past it. Begin. Nice. 
And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Nice. Maybe I get to see something in the stars. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. That is a weird Here, kid. I can adjust that for no, no. Bring it into focus on your own. It still is it in focus. Now I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Oh. Okay. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, hello. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I can't take your telescope. I can't do that, Armit. You might need it. No, really. You can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards, and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, okay. Is this it? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, wait, hold on. What? I'm supposed to find a telescope. Where the hell is it at? Uh oh, what the fuck, game? Hold on. Meet. Where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck. Look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. For the smaller set of stairs on the observation deck? What? Oh, 
I feel extremely wait I've been up here once Jesus Christ I can't believe I forgot it this was his old telescope <laughs> looks practically brand new <sighs> a pristine night for stargazing do not let it be professor Shaw I'm interested in learning more about astronomy it is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord but if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others we ourselves are not unlike blank star charts you know empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer do you understand what are astronomy tables you mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class mm -hmm. what were you talking about long ago devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside they are ideal for studying constellations near and far for centuries wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing sadly they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch I noticed you dismiss divination. Why? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Thank you for your insights. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Yeah, I'd say. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, now I can go back and talk to this kid. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you like help finding it. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you it? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. I suppose I could join you. Uh, sounds exciting. I'm in. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. Lumos. Here I am. Charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Is it over there? I mean, where are we going? A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Huh. 
there's an old tub. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to school, I mean. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. I see. Elira. Musical instrument. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Ah, uh, you say so. Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. All beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook. You know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. I am... Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Nice. Hey. What an excellent brew. Find astronomy tables. There is one over here. He's likely studied here. close sheesh now what does that actually unlock I don't know Take the biscuit. I noticed a goblin near the Westrum Bridge. Hogs meat, so I'm minting about a biscuit. This piqued my curiosity. I should chat with him when I have time. Mm hmm. Oh God, that's where she wants me to go. Sheesh. Uh, if 
you see this icon at a location, hover over it to reveal any hidden icons that may be at the same location. Okay. Ancient magic hotspot. Let's see. Okay, so this is the quest over here. Let me do Hogsmeade. Go talk to this damn goblin about some fucking biscuits. Yes! Biscuits! Got a trim a bush jet. Hello, is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnath. Just Garnath. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Not a moon calf. Those things are ugly and stupid. Well, the poachers, poachers won't with the moon calf. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Moon calf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. That's a stupid question. I've got one back in the room of requirement. Uh, why do you have a pet moon calf? A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. How kind. If only all of wizard kind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnish's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Okay. Shit, I can't. I can't fly from here. Hold on. Damn it. Run, run. Run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Unless I run into a wall. No, no. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Wait. No. God damn it. Ugh. The hell was that? Oh, 
not scary. Poachers? God, if it was right then, I'd better be careful. Wait, did I get them all? No, oh, there's like 20 of them. What the fuck? Do 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 do. Your gear slots are cool. What the hell? Let's go. Okay. What did I miss? I missed something somewhere. Confringo. Hmm. I'm only missing one. Hold on. There it is. Now I can duel. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Ha <laughs> 
down now. I'm only trying to help. Everything's all right now. Um. Wait, how do I look at my beast? They're both male. Ain't neither one of them purple. Yeah, that one's kind of purple. I can sell them? I can sell them, chat. Defender. Just make him go explode, explode. Okay, let me get over here. Wait. Leeches? Why'd it have to be leeches? Ain't another talent. Oh shit. How does that feel? Now you're just getting on my nerves. Incendio. Shit. It's always oh, it's a bit like, too um, close. Cabrigo. Well, Zago. Arresto momentum. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Oh, snap.
Not bad. Not bad. Now yep, then. yep, yep. Which one of you is Biscuit? Oh. The one there at the end. Hold on. No, shit. I gotta go capture him. Shit. Shit. But I grabbed I grabbed all the shit at the wrong spot. Hold on. God damn it. Now I gotta go find Biscuit. Fuck. Revelio. Fuck. Where does she go? There she is. Wait, wrong one. Nope. Cancel. I don't want that one. I want Biscuit. Where is Biscuit? Where'd she go? Shit. Oh, there she is. That's dumb. Shit, go, no, 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 no. All right, Miss Kent. Let's get you back to Golnev, shall we? <sighs> God damn it. No, that. Hold on. Thanks. All right. Uh, had to risk it for the biscuit. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. Oh, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. What the hell? This is some nonsense. Gotta pet the kitty. Uh, not have a moon calf. Gone if I've rescued Biscuit. You have. Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? We're both fine. Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh mercy! 
where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. <laughs> I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I do like to be compensated for my efforts, though. At least get paid. You can have her back for the right price. I, of course, I would pay any amount for the safety of my dear Biscuit. Oh, my sweet little Biscuit. My wise, noble Mooncalf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. <laughs> Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. 300. Nice. Trimming my bush. Where's that? Are there other side quests down here? There is. What the hell is this? They're all in Irondale. Hold on. I gotta zoom in. Deep in the night. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm off to Irondale. Oh, I did get King Bridge. Okay. Well, now I can fly down to King Bridge. Mm. Be nice. So very nice. Oh shit, I can rob these people too. No, oh, wait, no, this is just a crooked house. Hello, Hamora. Yep. Breaking in, stealing in, and doing random shit. Yep, yep, yep. Rebellion. Oh shit, I've gotta I've gotta wait now. Damn it. Hi now, demi guys. Hamora. Open up. I'm coming to steal your shit. Hmm. What are you going to do, sir? I just broke into your house and I'm petting your cat. Hmm? Hmm? What are you gonna do about it, sir? That's what I thought. Wait, there's a chest upstairs. Okay. Where's the quest at? Uh, 
I know what that means. Merlin trial. What the hell is up with this cow? <gasps> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> you can go cow tipping. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> nice. Wait, what? Use Fulfundo 10 times on a cow. What? That was an achievement. Okay. That's actually pretty funny. Not of the mouse, sweet. What? It just did it, though. Is that the last of my mouse weed? Revelio. Where the hell is this fucking Merlin trial being done? Okay, let's see. What is this? Gear slots are full. Let me let me talk to this vendor. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? Uh. What do you have for sale? Just, just your stuff. What are we looking for today? Ooh, sell you shit. Trash, trash, garbage. You garbage. Uh, muff cabbage. 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 Garbage. You garbage, garbage. A fine choice, exactly what I would have chosen. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. All right. What do we got over here? Oh god, they're terrible. They're garbage. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Hello, Hamora. Not very well, seeing as it easily just rob everybody blind. They know me immediately. This isn't poisoned at all. Wait, an ore has been killed? Nobody's mentioned that. Unidentified face item. So an ore has been killed. That said, I don't care. Rebellion. 
No, I've already got this. Wait. That's an Iron Maiden. It's used for torturing people. No oh, shit. That's the porch. Okay. The back dock. No. I still hadn't even gotten Griffins. Or Hippogriff. Wait, why was I coming down here? Yes, yeah, the Lord of Damn. Oh, that's right. I was in Keenbridge. I was supposed to be coming down here, anyways. I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh, my ADHD dysfunctional BS. Let me grab this. Would you mind helping a wizard in distress? With what? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins. That's what. Ranrot's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. This is a charity, sir. If you can't defend yourself, you'd be better off staying out of their way. I'm not giving you charity. You'll be sorry. When Ranrot's loyalists come to take me away, you'll be sorry then. If a wizard can't count on someone in the wizarding community goblins to help against yet? goblins... Or did you find some Maxima potion? Come to? No, no, not yet. Does this mean you've changed your mind? For a price. Damn it, just pay me. Yeah, whatever. You're right, the world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> And I have you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Hmm. You know, you could have just paid me with that. This guy, I tell you. Hmm. What now? Flip a dug bog. Where is the dug bog at? Oh shit, there's three of them. Oh! Nope, I'm running. Why can't you run straight on the docks, sir?
Jewel brooch. Oh, there's a Merlin trial around here. Here we go. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. <gasps> I'm out of Mago Suite. Hmm. Must have snuck in after a fight. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Damn, that bad? What makes you think she did it? Are you sure Katrin's the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Katrin. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden. And she knew precisely which homes to rob. Hmm. How would she cut return just to rob this hamlet? Hmm. Why would Katrin come back to rob the hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? She always despised this place. Resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. Or maybe it wasn't her. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. Perhaps I can look for the thief. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. Yo! Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. Can I see your wares at least? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Oh, God. Nothing. Phoenix feather. Hmm. Eh. Maybe if I just get one of each. Thank you for your patronage. Oh wait, I don't need those feathers. Vestral hair. Gold warts. Thank you for your patronage. Be a nasal fur. Okay. I'll keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Cratchering will steal the eyebrows off your face, she will. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. Alohomora. Perfect. I could rob them blind and just blame it on the other thief. That's how we do it, chat.
I will rob them blind. And I'll blame her the whole time. Of all things would lead someone to treasure. Rebellion. She ain't got shit in here. Hold on. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Alohomora. I mean, I'm right here. <laughs> it's almost like I'm tracking myself. These locks are easy. Nice. What do we got? And boom. Galleons. It must lead to something grand. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. Your poop? Your morning poop? I enjoy a good puzzle. An archaic puzzle. Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested. And wait till I tell you about the rumors surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Hmm. Where is this statue? Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. <laughs> if I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. What do we have here? A demigod. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Wait, where's the demigod? Was it in the house? It is in the house. Right? Rebellion. Nope, it's on the ground. My shit is daytime now. Are you kidding me? Now I gotta wait. Solve that quest. <sighs> Mine now, Demi guys. Hmm. At least now it's dark. So 
I found the gold up this way. Right? This looks intriguing. Is that not how I saw it? Oh, wait. Hold on. Repairer. No. Rebellion. Hmm. Okay, let's find her mysterious statue. I guess. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Uh, Scorpio? Hmm. This looks like the statue Madame Twiddle mentioned. Oh, it's one of those statues. Why are there some vases around here? I suppose I should try to find all the vases. I think there should only be a few more vases. Oh, what the hell? I wouldn't have been a place like right there.
What the fuck? I ran right by it. How dare me run right by it? What? That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Battle Arena. I ain't doing that yet. Hold on. Uh. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shit, missed Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around. Oh, hey, Ed. How you doing? Nice to mind. see you. Yeah, well, I know. My curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. What I'll encounter on Ooh. my next constitutional. My butt hurts. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Okay, now the other quests. Which one was it? Hold on. No, a thief in a night. There we go. Turn to the D side quest, then the main quest. So many main quests. Follow the trail of coins. Well, there was one. Where were they at? Were they this way? Which way was that trail of coins? The fuck? Oh, here we go. They must have went this way. Did she go across? She did. Uh, that was a pretty hefty pile of coin. How did I only get one? More gold. I must be getting closer. see here boom Protagos. wrong button you idiot
bastard. You've one less follower, Ranrock. So the last gold piece I got was right here. Let's go over here. What do you have in store for me this time? Wait, hold on. So the gold goes that way. Hold on. What is down here? These are old sewers. Oh, I get it eventually. Okay, where is Ooh is it? Is that it? I wonder where the hell is that lead to? Okay, so it was over here, went this way. There's that. There's this. Hold on. Where does it go next? Was it this way? Oh, I can't go that way. So, no, it wasn't that way. Wait, where the hell was... Does it go down here? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, cool. This could be a trap. Wait, it goes up this way? Okay. Levioso. Rebellion. Oh, um. Levioso. Mm. Wingardium Levioso. Wait, that was it? Well, okay. <sighs> All right, so this way, okay. The 
hell? Where? Was it this way or this way? Hold on. Okay. So was it this way? Hold on. Was it this way? It was this way. Here we go. Okay, so they went up that way. Oh, wait, did they go this way too? I've never seen a sword like it. The hell? How does it go that way and that way? Okay. Oh shit, that ain't gonna work. Okay. Oh shit. Must be another side to it. Yeah, there's two camps, and there's an undermine. Okay. It looks like it went there, and then he turned around and went back up this way. Ashwinder. Wait, did they go over here? Or did they go over there. Okay. Wait, Ashwinder eggs. It wasn't capturing Haggerty after all. Rebellion. Okay, let's see here. The Niffler. 
Things are cute, they're annoying. That must be the Haggerty family heirloom. His sister wasn't the thief, and his heirloom's coming home. Rebellion. Nice. Well, let me go. Did I get any. Okay, we'll go there. What are you up to now? Oh, go away. If one more person asks me about her. <sighs> Yeah, some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I am Master Thief. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Oh, God, that just you repeat everything I say. We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. It, it, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But, I suppose... Mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. You can have it back for a price of finder's fee. I found your heirloom, and I'll give it back to you for a price. Huh? Well, I suppose that's only fair. Very well. We'll call it a reward. Sounds more decent that way. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but... I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. So at least I got my heirloom back. And 500 galleons. And I got a Niffler. Okay. Going back to the room of requirement. Nope. Damn it, I need this map. There. There we go. Identify. Most of the shit I can use. What the hell? Nice. Take things. You should be. To one, but I still need to buy the upgrades. Right. Yep. <laughs> I 
Asylum mask. Nice. Right now, the rest of them are garbage. Good. Hmm. Okay. What the crap? Scarf, a new scarf. Oh, I got all of them are junk. Books and rubes. Celestial blue. Uh, I still prefer this one. Elegant, refined, glass. No, oh, I still haven't even unlocked all the challenges yet. you brood where the fuck is everybody um hold on damn it I need no one I need a map abilities there we go Wait, what? Species limit reach. Sell beast at brood and peck to open space for this species in the vivarium. Wait, I need to make room for it? Hold on. Why does he have a star? What does a star mean? Oh shit. No, come back here. <clears throat> Wait, where'd the toad go? He ran away. to inventory okay I'm gonna move him to inventory I'm not going to hurt you and then I've got two females so I can put one of those up I'm gonna sell one of those okay and then Sell beast if I can open, open a slot. What? 
I'll look after you. What? So I can put these two back. What the hell? That's some bullshit. Nibbler. Okay. I gotta run back inside. <gasps> okay, so I should be full on everything then. Upgrade a few things? Hold on. Okay, upgrade gear. Upgrade that though and bring the defense up to 18 on that. Hold on. That bring my defense up even more. And I have plenty to do it with, so. <gasps> I got a graph horn and a hippogriff feather. I can do all of them. Nice. Upgrade a piece of gear three times. Nice. <sighs> Shit. Snap. I still need all that shit. Slightly increased damage of all damage spells. Nice. And it takes a nasal fur. I've got it. Which ones don't have one? No, oh, they all got one. Yeah, I guess switch that one out. Nice. I don't even know Bombarda. I can't do this one though. Nice.
I can make more of those. I need more of those. Yeah, because I'm down to five. Alright, with that chat, it looks like it's getting kind of late here on my side. I am going to end the stream. It was fun, though, hanging out with y'all. And just chatting and playing the game, wandering around. Trying to get stuff done. So, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow. I'm trying to get my, my follower goal here to get up here to build a community so we can chat more and have more people to chat with. So, it's always nice. Uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube, go to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And at some point in the future, I'm going to be scheduling out when will be best I can stream on YouTube as well. So, keep an eye out for me over there if you're subscribed and you're watching this video. Um, in the meantime, uh, uh, y'all take it easy. Have a safe and wonderful evening and day tomorrow. And uh, y'all be kind to each other out there. It's crazy. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and take a moment and save. And y'all can witness this. I'm on, I'm on stream saving it. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. All right. And it saved. Y'all y'all are my witnesses. I saved it. Okay. And with that, y'all have a wonderful evening. <laughs>